Marcella Nordbeck Richardson is multifaceted. She's an author, artist, life coach, a seeker, and a dreamer, and she drives her dreams into action. Janine Trudell of Tailwind Media brings us to the intersection of oil and canvas. Hmm, why do I paint? My earliest memory, I was three years old and my mom had been an art student. I remember her drawing the outline of a bear on a piece of construction paper and giving me a paintbrush loaded up with paint and told me, paint the bear. <laughs> and then my mom went off and did her thing and so we're, we're painting together. I think from that moment on, I always needed a creative outlet. Kids might have other toys. I needed to have art supplies. Regret is my biggest fear, and I didn't want to regret not trying to pursue my creative endeavors full time. I'd been exhibiting and selling for a few years and had moderate success while holding down a full time job. And I thought, you know, if I'm having moderate success doing this on the side, what could I do if I did it full time? And so I took a nine month sabbatical and gave creativity full time everything. I had a great solo show, I'd done a couple of commissions. But every month, you know, the bank account's getting smaller. <laughs> and mentally, it changed how I approached creativity. Although I'd learned a lot during that nine month sabbatical, there was a part of me that was feeling a little bit like a failure. My husband, unfortunately, lost his job. And he went into trucking. <laughs> and I remember one day he says, you know, they told me that husband and wife teams can do really well out here. Do you think you want to get your Class A commercial driver's license? And I remember I looked at him and I said, like literally just yesterday, I got offered a job being a gallery manager and I accepted the job. So no, I'm not gonna go to truck driving school with you. I'm not gonna go drive a truck, that's crazy. I, I would never do that. <laughs> and a year later, uh, I went to truck driving school, finally graduated. It was challenging, but I did it. I learned what I needed to learn so that we could then come together and get a truck assignment and teamed for a year. We paid our dues, we were over the road, long haul, for a little more than a year. I got the minimum experience I needed to then circle back around and find a local job. I remember in truck driving school being in the classroom for a week and then the first day it's like, okay, you've completed all the classroom work, you've completed your final written exam, now we're going out into the yard. Standing in front of these behemoths of a vehicle, you know, the heart's racing, palms are sweating, a level of sheer terror I had never known. What I can see now is most of my fears, they were imagined. What I've experienced is that the more intense the fear is, when I actually get through that experience, the more intense this natural high is of like, oh my gosh, I did that. I did that. I was terrified, but I did it, and I did it well, and I rocked it. Before trucking, I used to let those fears hold me back. It can be scary driving a big rig, going somewhere you've never been. You don't know if you're gonna fit. You don't know how you're gonna maneuver the vehicle and get out back onto the highway. Just like in trucking, facing those emotional fears that come up in the creative process, it's cathartic, it's a release, and it's healing. And on the other side is peace and joy that I wasn't allowing myself to experience. What I realized during that nine month sabbatical was I like the security of having steady money coming in or having multiple income streams so that when I'm creating, I can just create from my heart and it's not from a place of, is this gonna be marketable? I don't think about that now at all. <laughs> and now I sell more work, which is ironic. When I step in front of the canvas to go bigger, to paint with bigger brushes, to paint with broader, bolder brush strokes, to show up with a willingness to face those feelings and put them on the canvas, give them somewhere else to reside other than within me, that's what I've taken from trucking. I want to inspire other people that no matter who you are, where you are, what you're doing, it's in those small pockets of time, those little white spaces in our day. 
where we can put in a little bit of creativity. You don't have to be this full-time working artist to be an artist. We are all the artists of our lives. So cool, a trucker artist? Now that's a ride not many artists make.